Well, guys, the people's voices have been heard. Now, a few months ago, we found out that Newsmax, actually, that's actually my favorite news outlet to actually um, watch what's going on in politics and stuff like that. I'm a bit fan of Newsmax. Of course, the Chris Alcedo show is on there as well. However, they were actually removed from Direct TV, and there was a whole bunch of backlash. That was actually people that actually were Direct TV customers for over 20 years said, No, you got rid of Newsmax. I'm getting rid of you. Well, guys, Newsmax is actually going to be returning to Direct TV because the people. They let their voices be heard. And I believe that people on the right need to do this more. People on the left have this down to a science. They will go out there. If they don't get their way, they will cause a bunch of uproar to get their way. People on the right tend to be pretty silent. But in this case, I don't believe that people should have been silent. One American News was actually dropped by on DirecTV a little over a year ago. And then Newsmax gets dropped. It looked like it was definitely a concerted effort to deplatform conservative TV. And in this case, Newsmax has now won. Look at this story here. Newsmax to return to direct TV after being dropped in January. Now. Allegedly, it was over a contract dispute that that was what direct TV was saying. Direct TV was actually saying, but Newsmax is saying, no, they were trying to silence conservative voices and uh, people on the right in politics. They were actually calling for hearings about direct TV dropping Newsmax. Now, we don't know all the details of this, not a whole bunch of details, but um, the uh, CEO of uh, Newsmax, he did come out and make a statement. But it says here, Newsmax is returning to direct TV after the satellite giant dropped the conservative news and commentary channel. From his lineup in January over an alleged carriage carriage dispute. The two companies announced the new deal Wednesday morning, according to uh, the Hollywood Reporter, saying that the channel will return to direct TV and its streaming services again beginning Thursday. So I guess they're back on there today. Direct TV CEO Bill Morrow said this in a statement. This resolution with news mats resolving An all too common carriage dispute underscores our dedication to delivering a wide array of programming and perspectives to all of our customers. Through our persistent negotiations, we have reached a resolution under mutually agreeable business terms, allowing us to deliver the conservative news network at the right value, a reflection of the free market at work. Now, the dispute was, from what I understand, Direct TV wanted like um like a dollar per like a viewer or something like that. I don't know exactly how they do that. And they get much more ratings than like a CNN or MSNBC. And they get like twelve dollars or something like that. Direct TV was only asking for like a dollar. Well, I should say Newsmax is only asking for like a dollar. A dollar, even though they get better ratings than a lot of these uh, mainstream media networks. Uh, Newsmax recognizes and appreciates that Direct TV. This is from um, uh, Christopher uh, Ruddy, uh, the CEO. Newsmax appreciates that Direct TV clearly supports diverse voices, including conservative ones. As a standalone company, Direct TV gave Newsmax its start nearly a decade ago, as it continues to do with upcoming news networks, which is why we are pleased to reach a mutually beneficial agreement. That will deliver our network to Direct TV, Direct TV Stream, and UVerse customers over the next several years. Now, I, I watch um, uh, news mats. I don't actually have it on cable, but you can actually watch it on Pluto TV. And Pluto TV is uh, free if you're a cord cutter like myself. Uh, also, on Roku, you can actually just download the uh, news mats app. You can watch it there as well. But I noticed something on Pluto TV when they cut to commercial, they always put up this disclaimer when a Newsmax uh, program is on. It says something along the lines of um, the opinions of this program don't necessarily reflect the uh, the opinions of Pluto TV. Why do you even need to put that? 
Why? It's pretty clear, you know, that um, Newsmats is Newsmats. I'm pretty sure these other networks, they never do that for CNN. They don't do that for MSNBC. But they do that for conservative networks. I found that to be uh, interesting right there, to say the least. Uh, DirecTV dropping Newsmax caused an uproar among Republican lawmakers who threatened hearings and fume about conservative censorship. DirecTV had previously dropped One American News Network in April 2022. After dropping Newsmax, DirecTV had added the conservative channel The First. I haven't heard of him. DirecTV will now feature both channels, according to the report. I've never heard of The First at all. So that's the first time I've actually heard of that. But you guys know I'm a bit fan of Chris Salcedo. I love his show on Newsmats. I love it. He is the best voice in conservative media to me. I know there's other guys out there, but Chris Salcedo is my favorite. He has a Houston show. I try to listen to that as much as I can. Also, I do love his. Um, It was at 3 p.m. Central Time, but I believe now it's like at 4 p.m. Central Time on Newsmats. But. Newsmats has now been restored. This is what happens, man, when people on the right actually use their voices and, dare I say, protests. You know, the left loves the word protest when it actually benefits them. But now all of a sudden, you know, if you're a Trump supporter, uh, protesting to them means violence. It's completely hypocritical because when uh, the left protests, it usually gets a lot more violent than when people on the right actually do protests. But that's pretty much it, guys. I'm happy to say that Newsmats is back on DirecTV. Um, I've also read some comments from um, people that actually dropped on DirecTV after Newsmats was dropped. They said, I'm not going to return. I'm never going to return again. So we'll have to see if um, people are actually going to sign up once again for DirecTV. DirecTV, pretty expensive. Really, really expensive. There's better alternatives out there. I mean, there's other packages. You can actually give it like Sling TV, you, but you have to add uh, news mats on like the um, uh, this uh, news package that they actually have. Direct TV is super expensive, man. It really, really is. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys stick of this? Black and white network fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks.